A rare and dangerous environment is setting up across the southern plains, and it could lead to a serious nighttime outbreak of severe weather with hurricane force winds and strong tornadoes. Let's talk about what your area can expect this evening. Now, the big thing here and definitely the first thing that we need to talk about is the Storm Prediction Center outlook for this evening and overnight. We have a moderate risk of severe storms across a large portion of Oklahoma into the eastern portion of the Texas Panhandle here. So Wichita Falls into Oklahoma City and Tulsa under a level four out of five risk of severe storms beginning this evening and lasting well into the overnight hours here. This orange will be an enhanced risk of severe storms and that stretches all the way up into the northern Ozarks here. A significant and widespread outbreak of severe weather with mainly damaging winds is looking highly likely. So again, the main threat above anything else is going to be damaging winds, not tornadoes, not hail. Both of those things will happen, but the main threat is going to be not just widespread damaging winds, but several gusts in excess of 75 miles an hour. And if we zoom into the southern plains here, this purple shaded area with the moderate risk region from Wichita Falls into Oklahoma City, Mangum, Oklahoma, up towards Tulsa, here, this is the best chance of getting widespread significant damaging winds with gusts over hurricane force, but that can't be ruled out up into Arkansas or Missouri either. And as we get into early tomorrow morning, these severe storms will be approaching St. Louis and they will be weakening at that point. Now, on top of just general straight line damaging winds from the line of storms, we are also going to have tornadoes. The highest tornado threat is going to be with the short lived initial supercells across southwestern Oklahoma, perhaps northwestern Texas as well. So right along the Red River there from Wichita Falls into Mangum, Oklahoma, that is going to be where we're not only expecting tornadoes, but we could get strong tornadoes as well. And then the line will likely have several spin up tornadoes as well for areas like Oklahoma City all the way up there into Wichita and Tulsa as well. So let's talk about a timeline for these storms. And we're speeding this up to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time this afternoon. We're going to have some showers across the panhandles here. They quickly intensify into strong to severe storms as we get towards the 6 or 7 p.m. hour here from western Kansas down there into the eastern portion of the Texas Panhandle. And then look at how quickly it escalates as we head closer to the 7 or 8 p.m. hour. At that point, uh, we are going to have uh, some storms here really severe across western Oklahoma. In western Oklahoma, this will mainly be damaging winds at this point. But notice how these storms are a little bit more separated along the Red River southward into northwestern Texas. These are going to be the ones that if they are allowed to sustain and they're able to become surface-based, uh, they could produce strong tornadoes here before they quickly congeal into the line. And that line progressively moves eastward across Oklahoma as we get into the overnight hours. But just by the 9 or 10 p.m. hour here, here's a look at our moisture content. We got 60s dew points surging in from the southeast uh, up there into Oklahoma and Texas right out ahead of that dry line. And where those air mashes, that warm, moist air clashes with that cool, dry air, that's how you get that instability along the cold front to initiate those severe storms. And on top of that, we also have a very strong lower level jet stream here. The strongest, probably one of the strongest I've ever seen, even across Tornado Alley here. And it intensifies even further as we get into the late overnight. So the ingredients are coming together for a major outbreak of severe weather here later on this evening into the overnight hours, with the main threat being hurricane force, widespread damaging wind gusts here. So again, this is by 9 or 10 p.m. We got these supercells here along the Red River that could have strong tornadoes, and we have a line of significant damaging winds across western Oklahoma. These will approach the Oklahoma City area as we get towards the 10 or 11 p.m. hour this evening here, and then they will quickly traverse eastward into Tulsa uh, in the Ozarks as we get beyond midnight here. Uh, these storms are going to be moving incredibly fast. We're talking about th these storms are going to be moving at about 70 to 80 miles an hour, about as fast as a car on the freeway. Uh, so imagine trying to you know, if, if you're if you're storm chasing this here, it's going to be pretty much impossible in the overnight hours because these storms are moving so quickly, about 80 miles an hour. So if you are under a severe thunderstorm warning this evening or into the overnight period, you need to take action right away because these storms are not going to be messing around. They're going to be moving incredibly fast. And if you are near a severe thunderstorm warning, you might as well get to safety. Uh, make sure that you're taking your severe weather preparedness plans because uh, these storms are going to be moving very fast 
fast and you'll have little time to react to it when the storms move through. And there's going to be some gusts here that are approaching 90 miles an hour. So you want to take this very seriously and have multiple ways to receive warnings as we head into the evening and overnight period today. And then as we get beyond midnight towards about the 1 or 2 a.m. Uh, period, these storms will be moving into the Ozarks. They could still have significant damaging winds across Missouri and Arkansas before they weaken at some point after that. Now, tomorrow, uh, we are talking about some scattered severe storms across the Ohio Valley here. We're not going to be talking about this much right here. It's a much less significant risk of severe storms than, than tonight will be. However, there could be some severe storms across the Ohio Valley. And while the main threat is going to be damaging winds, there could also be an isolated tornado or two as well, especially from central Illinois into central and southern portions of Indiana. Now, this is going to be the big deal that we have to talk about. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center has issued a day five 30% risk of severe storms from eastern Texas into western Alabama. Whenever these 30% risks are issued in this time frame, it's very serious. We have to take it, you know, we, we have to take it seriously. Uh, across the southern portion of the Mississippi River Valley into Dixie Alley here, this is going to be for Thursday into Thursday night. We could be looking at a widespread and significant outbreak of severe weather once again with large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes all on the table. And as we get closer to Thursday, we'll have a better idea on exactly what we're going to be seeing. This outbreak will carry over into Friday as well across the southern Appalachian Mountains from eastern Tennessee down there into the southeastern states as well. So uh, we're going to have a strong upper level disturbance here that is going to be moving across the southern tier of the United States as we head into Thursday. This trough becomes negatively tilted and potent once it moves across the southern portion of the Mississippi River Valley Thursday night into Friday morning and then it quickly ejects off into the Atlantic Ocean as we get into this coming weekend here. Uh, now this mid, this upper level disturbance here is gonna be pulling in a bunch of Gulf moisture here from the Gulf of Mexico. It's gonna be pulling it northward with 60s and 70s dew points and then pushing it out of the way from the west. And again, where that clashing along the cold front happens, that's going to be a kind of where our forcing develops along the cold front to get the severe storms along the line. But all this moisture out ahead of the line here, the warm sector we would call it, across the southeast into Dixie Alley, uh, this is all going to be very favorable favorable for severe weather, especially when you count the wind shear on top of that as well. Moisture gets pushed out of the United States when the trough moves out into the Atlantic by this weekend. So we're not just talking about a significant outbreak today. We're talking about possibly another one on Thursday carrying over into Friday of this coming week as well. So we have a very active stretch of severe weather coming up. But the main thing that we need to talk about today, again, is today's threat of severe weather. We're gonna take this day by day. Again, significant risk of severe weather from Wichita Falls, Texas into Oklahoma this evening into the overnight period. And just to recap, moderate risk of severe storms, including areas like Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and Mangum as well. Make sure to have multiple ways to receive warnings. And as long as you have those ways to receive warnings, this is just gonna be like another severe weather event across Tornado Alley, and everybody's gonna stay safe and all right. So just make sure that you have those ways to receive those warnings and make sure that you have a plan in place and a spot to go if a severe thunderstorm or tornado warning is issued for your area. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's update. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more of these videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel with these post notifications turned on. And also be sure to drop a like on the video to spread the word out to other people for the severe weather event today as well. But until the next video or live stream, stay safe and I will talk to you guys back here next time.